Management Accounting 8, a decision to close an unprofitable division. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, and our LinkedIn group, MBA Accounting and Finance. So what I have on this page is a uh, problem from a client. Let's assume that it's a furniture manufacturer that sells tables and chairs. And as, as with a lot of problems, the uh, key here is how is the problem set up? <clears throat> we can see the revenue and all the other costs both, both on a per unit basis for some numbers and for all numbers on a do total dollar basis. So revenue, we have variable costs, including there are some shipping costs. And we see that the shipping costs are for every 100 units. So for example, if we ship 4,000 units divided by 150, 6,000 represents the cost to send that many units. So they're grouped, they're in bunches like a lot of costs are. So for to ship 4,000 tables, we have a certain cost per unit. That's the point I'm trying to make. We have a cost per unit. What I did over here was to put in a formula that if I take 5,000 and I divide it by 100 units, that's the number of shipments I need to make. And if I multiply it by 150, I get $7,500. I can do the same thing here. If I take 4,000 units, I divide it by 100, that gives me the number of shipments I need to make. I multiply it by 150 and I get the shipping cost per unit. So as we've seen on other videos, variable revenue minus variable cost gets us contribution margin. So if I click on this, we'll see that link. It's revenue in blue less the variable costs in green. We then subtract off fixed costs, both depreciation and some marketing and ad administrative costs. And then we also notice that there is a corporate cost allocation, headquarters costs for the accountants, the lawyers, people who are working in the home office whose costs cannot be directly tied to production. And we allocate it based on the percentage of total revenue. So let's click on this percentage and see how we get that. And we see that for the table division, table revenue in blue divided by the total revenue in green gives us 28% and we get a similar number for the chair division. And so we're going to allocate $200,000 in blue, the, corp, the home office cost of $200,000, about 22% to the table division, and about 78% to the chair division. And we see at the bottom here at the operating income level that we end up with a loss of about $4,600 for the table division, and we have a profitable chair division. And now we have some changes. Management makes some decisions. Well, what if we increase sales by 50% in the table division? These changes apply to the table division. What if we can increase sales 50% by spending 10,000 more on fixed marketing costs? Now, if we spend more on marketing costs and increase sales, we're also going to have more variable costs including that shipping cost component. So let's see what would happen, what sort of results would we end up with. Well, I multiply the sale unit sale number by 1.5 to show a 50% increase. Goes to 6,000 units sold. So our revenue goes up to 420,000. And then I have these variable costs that also go up. <clears throat> we assume in the example the depreciation stays the same. It's still at $5,000, which is what we had up here. We explained in the problem that the $10,000 marketing costs would go up. Marketing and admin would go up by $10,000 right here. So our marketing cost goes from $30,000 total fixed the 40,000 total fixed. And we also note that because of these changes, the corporate allocation changes a little bit. 
because the revenue totals are a little different. So again, multiplying the percentage of total revenue in green times 200,000 in both cases. And what we find with that change is that we now have positive operating income for the table division. And one way of thinking about it is, is that we basically spent $10,000 more in marketing. $10,000 more in marketing to go from a loss of 4500 to a gain of about 7000 But we really need to look at the profit in total, which is this number right here, the operating income. So let's see what happened there. Well, our operating income in total for both tables and shares went from 441 to 468. So it made sense in total to add that additional marketing cost, which would increase sales 50% and absorb the, the additional variable cost. Net net, we're better off by about. 468 minus 441, about $27,000 better off. So you have to be careful in the closing an unprofitable division to look at which fixed costs would remain if I closed it completely, and what would I give up? Well, I would give up not only the variable costs, but I would also be giving up the revenue. So we have to look at the organization in total to see one of two things, either what are the results when I close the division, which means some fixed costs would stay, the revenue and the variable costs would go away, and then in this example, well, what if I make some decisions designed to increase the unprofitable division to become profitable, how would that look at in total? Said another way, if the operating income in total would have been lower when I made these changes and kept the table division open, I'd probably consider closing the table division because in total is my operating income company-wide higher than what I had previously? Is the operating income in total higher than what I had previously? That's the end of Management Accounting 8. We now have our video textbooks, 30-minute to one-hour videos recorded by Accounting Topic. Here's the website. Spreadsheet templates on all of our YouTube videos. You will also see our upcoming summer series, which was a video that we put up recently. That will be uh, 10 person live chats that will allow you to get questions answered live. Um, I get a lot of demand for that because. Um, that would allow people to get questions answered that they can't get answered through watching a YouTube video. So our summer series is coming up. For one-on-one -on -one tutoring, here's the email address and the phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.